Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask! Let's, uh, see what happens when Cafe gets the letter from Anju that we just put into the mailbox. So, in order to do that, we need to advance the clock to the second day there. Postman's, well, I guess, not working overnight. I wonder if there's, like, a time limit. Well, there obviously is, but I wonder when would be too late to deliver the letter to, like, a mailbox or whatever. Well, I'll just tell you when we need to be here by. Uh, by about 3 o'clock or... Yeah, about there. Oh, yeah, someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, check out this uh, bell here by... Uh, Curiosity Shop, I guess. So if you hit that with your sword there, yeah, Cafe comes out of there. Uh, Jim? Can I look over there? There he is. But, uh, yeah, he just goes back inside, and you can't go in there anyway while he's doing that. So, yeah, that doesn't really help us. Let's advance the clock to when the postman will actually get here. Now, if you... Advance the clock to about 3 p.m. there. Uh, if you didn't do anything in the side quest up to this point, you would find Anju sitting on the bench there, kind of depressed about something, but you don't know what's going on at the time. Oh, yeah, we got a stray fairy here, but we're not really uh, concerned about that. Oh, might want to put away my sword. Okay, so yeah, the postman rings the bell. Let me get a better angle. So, you gonna take the letter or what? Unfortunately, you can't talk to Cafe here or interact with him at all. So, yeah, they just take off then. But all right, let's get back into the house. Fortunately, this time he actually forgot to lock the door so we can get in here. And, well, Cafe will get up here eventually. This is part of why I did not play the Inverted Song of Time to slow things down. Because there's a number of instances like this where you don't, uh, what is it? Where you have to wait for something to happen that doesn't occur on the hour. Although I suppose I could have advanced the clock to 4 o'clock and that would have uh, helped a little, I guess. Oh well, yeah, that's what I got the mask for. You don't actually have to wear the mask during the cut or to get the cutscene here. So uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm not gonna get into another but thou must situation. You look just like me. Well, except uh, yeah, the face and all that, but the hair is. But, okay. Oh, okay. I wonder why he would have cared about that. He just seems to hate everyone. Oh, okay. Nuts. Well, that didn't go as planned. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Tattle. Or do you mean tail? I don't know if she's talking about Tattle or uh, Link. I I'm guessing she's talking about Tattle, but in any case. Nuts. So, what are we going to do about it? So that's why he's hiding then. But alright, we got a memory pendant or something. Will it restore memories or hold memories or something? Or But uh, okay. It's a secret to everybody. But if you talk to him again, you get a little more dialogue here. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Let's uh, get up here then. So, yeah, well, not 
really a cutscene that you get here, but well, something a little different that I didn't show the last time. So you can take a look around the whole place. I don't think there's anything on the ceiling there, but you can see what is all behind the counter there. Oh, there's a safe back there? I didn't know about that. And, oh, well, nice chair you got there. But, uh, let's see. Hey, it's Rob! What are you doing here? <laughs> How am I able to turn this telescope or back on the hole that I'm looking in? Or looking through? How does it even work? But all right. So yeah, he's gonna wait around for Sakan to show up at the curiosity shop. That's why you had to allow him to get away with the, what was that? With the big bomb bag. So he wants to spy on him. So he, he finds him and then track him down. Unfortunately, I don't think there's like a cutscene for that part. Like, you don't... I mean, you can find Sakan at the shop, and I'm going to show that soon, but there's no... You never see a cafe trailing or tracking him down. You only... Well, you'll see later. But anyway, okay, so we got the pendant. Let's give it to Anju there to let her know that we found him. Or at least have some evidence that we found him. As someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, check out what happens if you try to complete uh, the side quest for Cafe without delivering the pendant to Anju. But I didn't see anything happen there. I mean, you go as far as you can in the side quest that way, and then nothing happens. He's just gone. No one shows up or anything. So... Yeah, I don't know. If there's more to that, let me know, viewers, before I overwrite the save file. I always keep a backup from the previous episode, though. But, uh... Okay, so yeah, you give her the pendant. Now she's actually going to be sticking around here. But there is one more thing that you can uh, do with Anju here. So, let's see. Let's advance the clock to 9 p.m., this time on the second day and yeah you have to actually leave the inn in order to be able to play the song for some reason i mean i could admit i could see like the song of soaring having a problem oh there she is well where are you going but yeah i mean i could imagine like there was like the Zoom spell in the Dragon Quest games. You'd hit your head on the ceiling or something. But, I mean, Song of Double Time, why not? So now, if you have the room key, you don't have to do this part. But I want to show this part here. So if you got the room key, you can go into the ninth chamber here. Well, it's the only in in the game. I mean, wh what are you going to do? But in any case, if you stay here until 9.30 p.m. on the second day, then something happens. Let's see what we got. You have to manually hit the A button to trigger this part. Oh, yeah. I think I showed that before on uh, day three at the very end. If you did nothing with the side quests... Well, they would be at Romani Ranch there. But, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that would explain why she was kind of thinking uh, about Anju's situation. Oh, well, why would he be there? Okay, so what does that have to do with anything? Oh. Nuts. Well, then you'd meet up with him there. Oh, well, yeah, of course he will. Oh, well, yeah, that, that would be a bummer. 
It would put a damper on our relationship. Now, this cutscene doesn't change, at least as far as I could tell, whether you gave Anju the pendant or not, or if you did any parts of the side quest or not, which seems rather odd. I mean, you'd think that, you know, if she got the pendant, you know, she would say, okay, I'm going to stay no matter what, the power of love or whatever. But no, that isn't what. There's no change in the dialogue there. I mean, she is going to stay. Maybe she's just uh, agreeing with her mother just to, you know, not alert her to her real intentions of staying behind or something. Oh, yeah, that stray fairy there shows up here. Uh, what is it? During the nighttime for some reason i don't know why but in any case okay so i wanted to advance the clock to midnight because after 10 o'clock the curiosity shop opens up and sakan shows up here so let's pay them a visit and see what happens here so another little cutscene that you don't need to see in order to advance the side quest but it shows you a little bit more about what's going on here Yeah, you gave me 200 rupees for some milk. Well, he could just sell it to a random person himself. I wonder if the curiosity shop owner is aware that he's being watched. You insolent fool! Like, maybe he wants Sakan to get caught so that he'll, uh, what is it? So that he'll get the money and the bag at the same time. Wow, that's not very good negotiating on your part. Well, then. Well, I don't think it was very fair of you to, uh, what is it, steal the bag from a ho helpless old woman, but okay. Now, Sakan doesn't say anything new here, so yeah, he's just gonna run off and do his thing there, but uh, oh, okay. Well, later on, on uh, day three there at uh, 10 p.m., once the shop opens up, he will have the big bomb bag for sale there for uh, 100 rupees instead of 90 if we actually saved the old lady there. So I guess we get a little discount for doing the right thing or something. But all right. So yeah, Sakan is going to run off there. And Cafe, are you around here? No, I guess not. So yeah, like I said, I mean, no one's tracking him down, and he's going in the complete wrong direction, but, well, however that works. But alright, so now, let's see. So we got the, uh, what is it? Well, yeah, we gave up the pendant to Anju there, and let's see. So we need to uh, get back to Cafe's house to track down Sakan there, so... So yeah, let's uh, advance the clock a little bit here. Now, there is a little difference here between the two versions of the game. In the Nintendo 64 version, you have to wait until it's 1 p.m. So what I would do is I would go to the inn, talk to Anju's grandmother, and have her read the story that advances the clock by two hours. Uh, read the story a couple times there but uh in the 3ds version of the game we can enter the house right away for some reason so i guess they wanted to make it a little more convenient or something or i don't know but we do get a letter from the what is it from the curiosity 
shop owner. I guess this house is like a storeroom or something for him. But then why would he let Cafe stay here then? I mean, I think, like he said, they were used to be friends or, or he knew him when he was a child or something. Like, actually a child, not now. But, uh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, what is it? To the east of here. The last area, or the last region of the game that we haven't actually been to. And we couldn't have gone there before because we didn't have certain items that you would have needed in order to get through there. But now that we've taken care of everything at Great Bay Temple, we can go over there and make a little more progress. So we can head on over there and get a little more into that. I... what is it? I wanted to save it for now because I didn't want to go to like another region of the game to start advancing plot there until it was like more relevant to the story. But uh, the other thing is also that, what do we got? We got a key item, ah, there it is. Yeah, we got the special delivery to Mama. So that's a letter for Madame Aroma who sent us on the quest in the first place. And there's actually a couple rewards you can get for delivering it. If you deliver it straight to her, she's at the milk bar after, I think, 10 p.m. on the third day. Or maybe it's midnight. I forget precisely when that was. And if you did that, you would get an empty bot. Well, you'd get a bottle with Chateau Romani, which I've already done there. So if you, if you do it that way, you get one reward. But if you give it to the postman, you can get a different reward. So that's why I'm going through the side quest twice here. So that way I can show both outcomes and how or how to get uh, both rewards out of the side quest there. But will Anju and Cafe ever be reunited with each other? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is Ichi Bailey signing off. Have a good day!